the back fields, down on the creek, and my first go the edge of the field. Looked at the clouds, heard the wind blowing, and I said to myself, Basil, I said, don't stay in that field. You know, get the tools in the car for the storm things. And I ran like the wind after that boy died, calling all the town folks off. I fought by the dry goods, on through the daughter, I'm going to clean up his eye on fire. So I set the tools down, and I turned my head to see all the air in motion above me. I'm standing here in the corner of shelter, and the clouds are as dark as land is long. Circling his circle well, fire to the sky. And I looked, and I seen it, and I hollered, and I knew. I said, Ferris, Ferris, he's dead now for certain. What did Glamour do? He's passed on beyond us. After the slate clouds came, but people washed away, and there was fire to the sky, now it's nothing. Those clouds, here's just blue in the sun. It's only the sun gone, and it's me who breaks the work of Ferris when he comes to the morning. I see him standing there like a wood stick sculpture in that wood frame door. Well, this is Ferris. Ferris, I'm sorry. You don't move, you don't speak. This is Ferris, it's your son. He's just passed on the honors. The eighty boy is dead, you see. But the layman's gone. There's no telling you about it. He said it'll rain, way in our fields and roads. We knew it'd be a good season. See, a man works, a man waits, and hopes and plans, but it was a boy who told us what. That boy, look, he was something. Something else broke back. Couldn't talk with two cents or take the time to tie shoes. But he seemed to know things, figured nobody knew. Without drilling rigs or, or men machines, without nothing but a willow rod in his hands. Buddy Lincoln came on smiling in the late spring, and he said something with you in the weather. Call it vein cotton, water with you, smell, seeking, or the mind. The boy had a touch, and a feel for water. Dirty to it, dude. Good chunk of digging, man. 
Dirt the hot work work, dude. Now I'm standing over here at this hole, and I'm working, I'm sweating, and you're standing there leaning on that damn shovel. You trying to tell me I don't know how to dig? Huh? You trying to tell me what's to go with the shovel? Listen, dude. I've been through the best damn training Uncle Sam's got to offer. Got sent through basic training tip times in a row. Now, I may not know much, but I know it's what with the shovel. Why don't you get over here and you use it then, Melvin? Give me a little room, pal! Give me a little room! I'll tear this up. Would you, you go, go ahead? Shut up and get ink for water. I'm not gonna find a stick well off your face. There's nothing but mud now. Well, uh. I tried this stick paper. I can't shaking this one next to nothing. You're wasting your time on that hole. Take your time with them laces. You can't make them tie. Yeah, pal, I do. See that sky up there, pal? But I'm looking right at it. 
know who lives up there? Jesus. Wait up there? Jesus, son of God, does. What do you think he does up there? Well, he, he's maybe got himself a little house. Yeah? Yeah, with, with a running toilet inside. <laughs> well, that's a good thing to have. He's knocking my knee. It does my heart good to me, man. No spirit on the church. We, we ain't got no church, Cece. Don't you know nothing? Your mama talked to the gospel at home, man. His mama? Yeah. He, he, you ain't seen her. No. He can find her nowhere, Cece. He can look for her everywhere. Well, how long she can go? Well, he, he ain't so sure no more. He looks for a house and wants to talk. He can find her nowhere. Well, I imagine she'll be back for a long, don't you think? Well, sometimes he hears her. Sometimes he hears her or not, but he can touch her almost with when he's sleeping. You mean your mama's passed away? Do you know where she's at? Well, I'd imagine she's in heaven. You know what angels are, don't you? Angel? Angels are what we call the people living in heaven. The ones on beyond, as you see. Well, what do angels do? Well, for the most part, they tend to fly around singing all day. Angels can fly? Sure can. Like the birds? Like the birds. Hey, hey, Dad, this mom's in the sky, this mom's flying with Jesus. You're going to be up to the sky like you never come down and don't finish your chores for well, a boy. Well, when he was talking to Cece. You made a friend, huh? Yeah, that, that guy ain't had him no breakfast. You look no longer coming to work, huh? Cece showers, sir. Better explain to Mr. Showers. Did you go back on? No, sir. Well, y'all, the man was working at Rush. Got you, sir. Uh, in our phone, Well, thank you. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tough, man. No. <laughs> sure, this is <laughs> Operator, if you 
go pump, fishing, deer in a tires. You can't catch a damn tire. Where the hell you been? I've been walking, Mr. Lehman, for close to three months now. I ain't hardly broke this car, let alone try to fix one, but I need a job off the bat. See, just enough work to feed. You know what they did? It might be like to help you. Well, it wasn't much work to be had in the past Kentucky, and I would quit what I did. You quit a good job for nothing? I couldn't do it no more. You walked off a job, good job to make work for miles? I had to leave. Did they fire you? No. Didn't you run in the wall? I just couldn't do it no more. What the hell you do? That don't matter no more. Man, don't know what it does. I'm trying to start all again, don't you see? I've been wanting to work this whole time I've been walking. You're wasting my time, mister. Listen, Mr. Layman, to tell you the truth, I, I was a preacher. A teacher? No, a Bible token preacher. Oh, now you're full of shit. <laughs> I ain't preaching no more, though. You full of shit, ain't you? I ain't preaching no more than I gave it up. I ain't preached for close to three months in a row now, Mr. Layman. We're close to 12 years. Now I'm done. I give it up. I was, but I ain't preaching no more. What an honor to the man, what an honor. A Bible praying Jesus to open heaven and help our preach. You tell Mr. Shells the truth, Billy Lane. He ain't done nothing wrong. Just you tell him. Well, he was walking around see. He see. Well, Bob's got to be kind of loud, so he thought he might feel better if you gave him a rope in here. On account of the boxes being all so heavy and on heard so awful. You didn't take some out of those cases now, boy. No, sir, we got nothing. Nothing? Nope. Got no roof there. Nothing. You mean the boys up there on the snow? They're a little easy to carry now, yeah? On your clothes? Your blankets? Your bedroll? Your Bible? My Bible? Your everything. Yep. Seems to be the case. What? Well, he's not trying to take himself a walk now, man. Hold still, man. Oh, he don't want hold still. Oh, you're gonna sit still. You tell us what you're here to say, boy. Now, listen to me. Ah, some things don't hurt me, Mr. Showers. I'm stealing clothes off the back of a preacher and run them over to sit still for. A preacher? A merry and burning and reading reviving devil and damnation preacher, gentlemen. <laughs> and your little brother, who somebody was supposed to be watching. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! 
trust is going to get out. I've been praying for this for years and years now. I don't ask the Lord for much. I don't bless nothing, Pimp C. But I have made a few small requests. The Lord knows how this town is a preacher, brother. Well, what kind of preacher work in a garage? We can't afford to be picky. Baby, picky! <laughs> We've been ten solid years without a single saving or baptizing period. The Lord is asking our prayers, don't you see? Well, I don't know. Stop being so darn doubtful, brother. So down in the mouth. Why look at those next door? She's been speaking the spell of the day just to let the man know he's well. Oh, well, you boys are just as welcome as welcome to me. You think you might grab some room in your garden? Now, what kind of doctor did I rub with Dr. Pierre? Pretty lousy. Well, it wouldn't be the doctor that you have today. I just made some fresh coffee with I'll have that for you. Coffee sounds fine. I'd expect you to show an urban friend around town, huh? Ain't much to see. Well, there's the drive-thru, and the diner, and the view of the river. Not to mention the place where the church was. You've seen the church in here. Yes, it must have slipped by. Ain't nothing left but the foundation to go there. Well, before she burned down, it was something I told you. That church had steeple so high from the treetops to change. That people, there were people all over. Those bells got ringing, and the whole town was full. Did a real good business on Sunday. You don't say. Fed more people on Sunday than the whole week together. That church got a real big either. You want some pie with that coffee? Oh, just fine. Apple pie, peach pie, rhubarb and cherry, whatever you want from the house. Well, I like the donuts. Plain donuts with any fair. It's glazed with some Can he get no hope for you? Not done with that last one. But more down in it. You will throw off your whole constitution. You know that. You drink and drink and drink and drink. You will make yourself a regular. You ready, one, Dad? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. No, I said. That goal is quite a woman. Well, she's pretty. But she's pushing, I know this. Ain't nothing worse than a damn woman gets pushing. You're gonna come, you can eat this outside, Ferris. Oh, it's not a good looking donut. Don't you dare bite that donut. You're gonna pay it. You know the rules just as well as I do. No, no drinking, no, drinking, no cussing, and you break for you. He's close to right there on the side. Care to pray? No. Make your bottle? Well, it's on the right for the guest to say grace of a meal. Say exactly a meal, man. Well, you're still the guest. Just give it a grace, bro. You give her the grace, Ferris. I'm no good at praying. It's your donut. It's my diner. And I'd like for our guests to say grace. Ma'am, I don't think you understand. You don't pray. Eat, you don't eat. Listen, Cece. You're really kind of hungry. I know that, Ferris. It doesn't only take you just a second. Ferris, I it's just a donut. Bow your heads. Shut your eyes, buddy. Pass the shadows. Thanks for the donut, baby. <laughs> what church are you in? Holy, the man needs to give up on preaching. Give it up? Yes, ma'am. You need to quit. I mean to stop all together. In that case, the coffee cup will get me. Good cup of coffee. I got it. About ready to go, pal? He ain't gonna know if you'll feel better. Well, what's the matter? His dog's itch you. <sighs> Looks like a touch of the eye. All the boy needs is a tub of hot water. I've been saying that much for years. Huh? Fever weed, salts, and a tub of hot water. Hey, this you no more. You'll be itching all over your so to speak. Hey, I'm turned head to toe when I'm back. That ain't the point, Ferris. Does it smell? Does it stink? That ain't the point. Half the world made dirt and ain't hurt nothing. Deals with damn dirt, rolls all dirt, head. Even Hoover's got a mud pop of rain. Don't be making fun of Mr. Hoover and my daughter, Ferris. It's on the president. Same thing as cousins, and it's exactly there to a tee. Kind of fond of him, are you? I couldn't care less if Herb Hoover got hit by a bus in his sleep, but he is still the president, and I won't have him bad now. You know what I said? It's so awful, Goldie. I ain't about to repeat it. Said Hale, said Dam, said Hoover. You see there? You see what it leads to? Bust and cuss me, boy. He's just a boy, Ferris. When I was his age, I cuss all the time. And he's only 14. And I'll tell you what else. I'm a better man for it. You are the most bullheaded man in the world, Ferris Layman. Man can't cuss, he can't hold the top. What would your wife say? The way you raised the boy, Ferris, think of it. Well, Sarah, can't hear the more boy. Hey, Dad. What you need, son? It's gonna rain. Change the weather to be nice. Can't you see the clouds it's gonna rain them all? But the sky's off blue. No. Oh, 
right.
read too much Bible. Could you show the campfire up, Mr. Shouse? Miss Lehman, I am 30 years old and I ain't done nothing else. All I'm good for is running on at the mouth and just jawing away. Well, I think you talk real nice. You know what I felt the whole time I was preaching? Nothing. Mr. Shouse! I didn't feel anything. Well, you sure sound real nice. Oh, I just need to learn to shut up. Well, Dan. What's the matter? I just can't shut up. I guess you're just too nice to talk to. Now, don't tease me, Mr. Showers. Now, Miss Lehman, I wouldn't. Uh, you make me feel like an old maid when you call me that. Well, you're awful for me yourself, ain't you? I'm younger than you. I'm supposed to. Here we are, this day and age, with tractors and light bulbs and singer sewing machines, and you automatically think every Mr. Older than you is going to be a Mr. right off the bat. Now, don't be riling me up, Mr. Showers, girl. Sixteen years old can't call a man by his first name. At least in Indiana, they don't. Well then, let's just pretend it's Kentucky. <laughs> Mr. Showers, I can't. Well, sure you can. Let's that, that old beach tree over there, that's an old door to a mine shaft. And that gully right there, that's an old coal train. Mr. Showers. Come on now. I can't. Well, sure you can. No, I can't. I don't see why not. You want me to? I want you to call me by my first name. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yeah, I felt some. Is that rainy thing? What's that? Oh my lord, Jimmy, would you see those clouds over there in the break of the trees? Oh my lord! We best find your brother before the sky splits wide open. He's on his way home. Hey, bud! Hey, he's not gonna stay in the woods if it's storming. Buddy! Come on, Cece, if he's home alone, he'll be scared out of the day. Hey, hey, there's nobody out here. And then there might be a lamp in the water. He can bring the water. It's raining.
Randy no kids? Nope. Randy no wife? I'm all I can handle, Ferris. Don't you like women much? All the women I put in for a church, Ferris. You can't sweet talk them one night and preach them the next. Well, there's plenty of time here. When I went to marry, I didn't know what the damn thing was. Terry got now to the moon. When I was young, I thought it was a genius. Women, horses, or cars. First one to tell you what's what. No, no, I wasn't married. Well, I asked the wife, and she says, I love you, and I want you. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't know a damn thing. Are you sure that you loved him? Was I sure that I loved him? I mean, being so young and all. Oh, it's crazy about it. Any day that goes by, I don't think of that movie. A lot of bed in the morning, see the house, see the kids. Can't help but remember. I was head over here with love. Never came across my mind at times, I guess. Waking up one morning, she ain't there no more. But, but she still can keep on loving it, see? She made me so happy. She's my daughter. Not Sarah. And nothing on her will change. Of course now, being a husband full time is a piece of damn cake being a dad. I was in there to the year and she could be a daughter. Hey, Dad! And then the boy came. I'm not saying I love her. I just want to let her know. Thank you. 
Hey, Melvin. We're trying to talk, man. Man, here. What are you talking about, Melvin? <laughs> talking about how nice you look, darling. I'm about to do it here, Gnarly Stanton. You really think I look nice to you? Show it out here, pal. Show you me.
What's it do to him? That's the one day it's juice, my friend. It takes an inch right out your feet. Is he all hurt, Genevieve? Folks say it makes it feel better. Sure does. That little fellow don't have to Kentucky. Like to drive himself crazy because he had a terrible case of the rash, itching and scratching himself all over. Till he found this here itch juice. Kind of gives him the willies all over, Genevieve. Kind of gives him the willies off the bad, CC. Now, bud? I'd say Mr. Shouts knows just what he's doing. Yeah, it's a certain breed no more. Just make a deal with you, pal. Word of honor, CC. Word of honor. <laughs> now, there's nothing like seeing a good man with a mind at ease. Let you forget anything in my gaps. It settles the insides right down. You wore him to spain, CC. By the time you're done, we'll have to sit you right out your feet. Mr. Lindbergh, any word from Mr. Lindbergh? 
Mr. Ham. Mr. Lindbergh. No, 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 Any sign of Buddy Lane? Who's Buddy Lane? He's a good boy. He is? He's a smart boy, I know. I'm Mr. Cece. Mr. Who? Mr. Cece. Who's Mr. Cece? He's a bird. A bird. A bird. Cece, you're flying. Just, you're flying. Go higher. Where do you go, Cece? I'm staying right here with you, pal. You like it here? I like it just fine. You like it when? Feels nice. Feels soft. Nice to you. Feels soft like his mama when he's sleeping. That's a dream, my friend. His angels are dreams. Buddy. And his arms and his wings and his wings and his He'll fly from the sky, maybe, Cece. He'll be with his mama. Buddy, listen to me. They be flying and flying and flying and flying. Buddy, mama's not here anymore. Buddy, mama's not here anymore. He has to find her. No, you have to remember. She left you a father, a sister, and there's friends here for you, buddy. And they want you, and they need you. Buddy, they want you. Buddy, they love you. Buddy, they love you. And he isn't a bird. He's a boy. 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 Well, that's something, huh? No, it is. Hey, Cece, you know what? What? You're a good guy. I am, huh? Well, you too. Buddy is. You sure are. You know what else he is? He's itchy. Still itchy? Itchy right there. Right there. It gets a little red, yeah. Itchy like crazy, Cece. You trash. You're never going to get better, pal. Well, it itches. I tell you what. Anytime you'll live, I'll be getting at you. I want you to say, I'm going to save this scratch for another time. When's that going to be? After a while. After a while? Well, is it better yet, CC? Oh, yeah, she is. I can't 
dance, I can't romance. You know I can't even work right now. Don't let him near me! Don't be so crazy, darling! I'm not going to let him touch me! Well, how can I? Jesus! 
I'd sit and I'd worry a while and then, well, I'd take the old dog. Must have had me at a dozen old hounds by the end of it. They're good dogs, though. Used to sit them all up in front of the room and practice my preaching on them. Dogs kind of like being talked to. Well, you talk real nice. No, I need to learn to shut up. It's not your fault, Cece. It's the real. Mama always used to say folks sit by the water, they can't help to be talking. I don't think she ever loved any place so much as the river. Be down here every other day through the summer. Come fall, well, you've never been here in the fall when the leaves start to change and the air's getting cool. Don't get too long now. And as long as you're here, you might as well stay on through winter. Everything's nice in the spring. I guess I might have to stay. Bless you all missing Kentucky. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do miss, though. Them dogs. What'd you do with them all? Well, right before I left, I came to my kids. You have kids in Kentucky? Yeah, must have had a good dozen spread kids across the country. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so riled, you made they were church kids. Oh, you're just a bait, Cece. But I can't be so mean to the bitch. You know what those bubbles they are, don't you? Yeah, I imagine. Those bubbles right there? What? Those millions and trillions of bubbles. Yeah? Fish bubbles. Fish bubbles? <laughs> I'll tell you, Lady May, there must be more of the fish in this river than there are stars in the sky, and we ain't still have a nibble worth of nose. Well, you never get a bite with no worm on your hook. Here, let me put one on. No, no, no. I don't mind. Well, then I'd end up having to take a fish off, but don't tell me if you got for me, too. All right, I won't tell you. But you would, huh? If you want. I'm happy just sitting by the rock. All right. You know, Jenny May, you're real nice. Yes? Yeah, and I didn't mean to tell you. Yeah? Yeah. You're real nice and you're real young. I'm 16. <laughs> I know, that's awful young, don't you think? I don't feel real young. Well, you are. I believe you. Trust me, you don't know how old you are. My mother was only 17 when she got married. Got married? Yeah! I think we'd best be heading home. <laughs> Mama's house. How come? <laughs> Mama 
almost like having babies, I guess. Hey, Cece. Yeah. Tell me. You're not the boy's father, not Bramer. 
Your work here is off. You just leave the boy go. I'm tired of you and telling me what to do all the time. I'm tired of doing it all the time, Barrett. The boy's mother died in the water. My wife in the water. I was there. I don't care about your wife. I care about the boy. I don't need you to push me. Well, I'm gonna push you. Then you get the hell on down the damn road. No, I'm fine before you. No, I'm fine without you. You hear me? I hear you. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Ferris. Damn it all. Lose my damn temper too easy. I know the feeling. Sometimes a man says things you think we're saying. Sometimes a man's a little too pushy. Yeah. I guess I'm just pushy by nature. Well, uh, what do you say to a push of this bike, fellas? <laughs>
ain't fault, Lord, but your mama. It's nobody's fault. It ain't. It, it ain't his fault. It ain't his fault. It's mama. It ain't his fault. Buddy, it's nobody's fault. God's name. It's not bad. God's making it rain. It's water. God's making it stars. It's water. That's what water does, buddy. It rains so the plants can grow. It rains so the birds have something to drink. It rains because that's what water does, buddy. It's all water does. Uh, all it does. Now breathe. No, sorry. But breathe. No. But you are breathing. No, he ain't. Yeah, you are. He ain't gonna breathe. You can't make him. You ready, bud? What you gonna do with him? Stay safe. You gotta breathe. He already said he can't breathe the water. See, if he can't your hair, he can't breathe. See, 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 breathe. See, see, it's okay. See, it's what's the matter. See. Breathe. Feels pretty good now, don't it, pal? Hey, bud. Bud, you better let out some old brain and some new, pal. Bud. Now, what'd you just do? He ain't breathing. Breathe. Can't you stay here? Let's try again. One, two, three, breathe. You're doing pretty good, pal. He is. The wonderful thing about breathing is, once you do it, you can't help but do it all the time. You can't. Even when you're sleeping. You're pretty busy breathing. When he's sleeping? All the time of breathing, even in the rain. No, sir, Reese, he can't breathe the rain. Hey, bud. What? It's raining. It's raining. It's letting up some. He can't breathe the rain, please. He can't breathe. Bud, if there's one thing you are, it's an A number one breeze. Word on, or say safe. Word on.
don't put in that river water? You still itching? Well, you won't tell Sarah no more. Now hold on, hold on, it's not going to hurt you. It's like the rain. To a less. It's like the rain? Yeah, here, just give it a try. Put some of it in your hand. There you go, huh? It's like the rain. See how it falls? Oh, it's like the rain. Only there's a little more of it. Okay. Now, what do you say we get that shit of yours up? Okay, so how does it butt hurt? If you stop scratching, maybe I can help you. Why do you scratch? You want him to get naked, Cece? I'm not sure it's fine to just start. The river's awful pretty. Hey, Cece, what, what color is that? Is that green? There's all sorts of pretty colors in the river, my friend. You see the trees up there, the trees and the leaves change the color. Okay, how come? Well, that's what leaves do in the fall, huh? Hey, Cece, you get naked? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what's the start, isn't it? Your dog's hit you. But, a little water would do me good, I imagine. Ooh, wee, it's a little colder than I expected. Cece, you okay? Yeah, 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 you can stay right here. See how I'm getting used to it, splashing all my stuff a little bit. Ooh, feels, feels nice, feels real good. He thought you might get yourself some breakfast now. Now, hold on, bud, now hold on. I'm just going to try your dogs for starters. If it's too cold, but hold off for a while. Just your dogs. Just your dogs for starters. It's awful close. It's awful close. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, keep moving. There you go. Now, there you go. He is. How you doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> oh, it's cold. It's cold. You ready for me to wash you? You gonna wash my wall? You warm it up some, right? He's trying. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Is that better? Wandering. Hey, what you wonder? Oh, okay. Oh, now what? You stick it close to me, all right? Yes. Yeah. See how I'm waiting to stick my feet on the bottom here? Yeah. But, to tell you the truth, I've been a little busy here. Nobody has been.
back to the sky now, it's nothing. Those clouds are just the blue sun. There's only sun gone and it's me who has to tell Paris that I'm in that I'd been down to the river and I'd seen that boy there. And I ran all over calling for him. I'm fine and I says, Paris. Paris, I'm sorry. He doesn't move. He doesn't speak. Off the office. We laid in bed, don't you see? He said it rain, and we laid our fields and roses. We knew it would be good season. Now we harvest those fields, we turn those lands over. From the herd to the herd, like a child to his mother. When we think of the boy, we call it a blessing. We turn to each other, we call it a blessing.